thousands of dollars in back pay claims. It's been a while since Pranay Alawala has had cash to buy coffee. The former 7-Eleven worker blew the whistle after two years of being underpaid. So I thought, okay, please, I have to do something, something about the other fellow workers. So that's why I took a step. Mr Alawala was caught up in a wage exploitation scandal exposed by a joint ABC Fairfax investigation last year. He's just received $33,000 in back pay. His lawyer says more cases are surfacing, alleging one Sydney 7-Eleven employee was paid just 47 cents an hour. On his wages, it would take a day, a day's work to be able to buy a cup of coffee. There are concerns the issue goes beyond 7-Eleven. I think this is just the tip of the iceberg. It's everywhere. That's prompted calls for the federal government to teach migrant workers and international students their rights. They're unaware of their rights in relation to safety. They're unaware of their rights to take breaks. 7-Eleven says it's moved to stop wage exploitation by improving payroll oversight, introducing store audits and employing a special investigator. The former ACCC boss, Professor Alan Feld, is helping to assess claims on 7-Eleven's behalf. He says about $4 million has now been paid out to cover nearly 200 claims. But he's warned that figure will grow considerably as there are more than 1,500 claims still outstanding. Pranay Alawala says Australia's international reputation is at risk. It's a good country, but not good for work. He's hoping more employees have the courage to come forward. Stephanie Smell, ABC News.